Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mandy. I've been a digital nomad now for over a year and a half and today I'm going to be sharing with you a new way that I'm going to be making money while I'm on the road using an awesome new website called Book Bolt. I believe that selling low content books on Amazon can be a fantastic side hustle. It has no upfront costs, no risk, and no prior experience is necessary. Also, Amazon handles all of the hard work of printing, shipping, and customer service. So it's awesome if you're lazy like me and like to have someone handle all that type of stuff for you. It's so convenient and accessible option for anyone looking to start an online business. To give you a better understanding, low content books are notebooks, journals, planners, sketchbooks, logbooks that require little to no writing. Buyers use these books to take notes, write, or draw on them. The process is straightforward as a seller. You upload your book to the Amazon KDP platform and Amazon prints and ships the books directly to the buyer when the order is placed. You as the seller will just receive the payment from Amazon. It's awesome. To get started all you need is a free Amazon KDP account and a BookBolt membership. BookBolt offers a range of helpful features including research tools to help you find profitable niches and keywords. They have an easy to use studio to create beautiful book covers and interiors with no design experience necessary. They also have live webinars and training available to you. All right, so without further ado, let's make our first journal. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is head to bookbolt.io. I have left a link in the description. If you want to do this along with me, we can build a revenue stream together if you like. So we head to bookbolt and once you've made an account, it'll bring you to just your homepage. Down the left hand side here, you'll see there's a bunch of helpful little categories that you can pick from. At the top, you'll see there's a tutorial section. If you're a complete newbie to making products online, I do suggest working through these if you're struggling at all after this. Uh, part of making passive income online does require you to learn a lot of things sort of on your own but luckily there are so many helpful videos here if you need it. Definitely check them out and you can become an absolute expert on selling these books on KDP. So as you see down here on the left hand side we've got products, seller, cloud, book scout, favorites, keywords. These are all really helpful tools that we're probably going to use. I want to make something like a mental health journal or a mental health tracker, something like that. I just want to make a real simple mental health journal. And here you can kind of look up what products are currently coming up for what you want to sell, which is really handy. You can kind of see what's selling well, what's getting good ratings, what price are they selling at, that type of thing. So you can kind of get an idea for what you want to price your product at or how much competition there is. One thing that I kind of like to look at, especially when I'm just scrolling through here, is the covers. It's sort of something that you can definitely differentiate yourself with, I think. Um, having really good design is a big one. So maybe if you don't feel so confident with designing stuff, you could always hire a graphic designer if you wanted for a book, but it's really not necessary for this. I do find that a bold color and a bold text seem to stand out the best, but you can see that a lot of these are, you know, very beautiful. This one's selling really well. I kind of like that. Let that shit go. Stress relief for teens. Anxiety journal for teens. That's sort of interesting. I like the teen idea. And that one's got a lot of ratings, so that one's pretty interesting. So this is a great way to do some research on what you want to sell and how to find these different products that maybe you'd be interested in selling. This also has a keyword count over here. So what people are searching for, you can see that mental health journal, they're all searched quite a bit. And so as a tracker, it sort of shows it in the number of the keyword count, which is interesting. Down here, they also have their related keywords as well. So you can see that this one says mental health journal for men, which is also interesting. So that's like helping you niche down a little bit rather than making it so general that it's a mental health journal for everybody. Telling them that it's specifically made for a certain person really helps people with their decision making. So that's a really good um, thing to work in there as well. So it it's really good to do this type of research before you decide exactly what you want to make. I have been making spiritual and mental health journals over on Etsy for a while. So I'm kind of looking to stay in that niche because I like it. I enjoy it. It helps people and 
I already sort of have the experience with it as well. Here you're able, so on the left hand side I've just clicked seller and here you're able to search like a seller's name. Maybe there's somebody that's really good that you're interested to see what other products they're selling, maybe to give you another idea of what you should be selling, somebody else in your niche. Um, I think a lot of people sometimes get a bit weary about maybe copying too much. Like when we go back here, if you were to copy this exact title, you might feel a little bit strange, but honestly, with this, if something's working with searching and using keywords for titles, it's so important. If people are already finding someone else's product that way, there's a way for people to find you as well if they're already finding that product, if that makes sense. So definitely, it's probably one of the most important things is getting the right keywords if you actually want your journal to sell on Amazon. I've just clicked cloud on the side and here we're going to be able to research the best sellers of each items. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to create an actual journal on here. I'm going to create a very simple lined journal. Now that I've seen, I've sort of seen that I want to go down that mental health route and I've seen that there's interesting keywords for it. I'm going to go ahead with it. So I've just gone up the top here where it says research and there's a little down arrow here. I'm just going to click that and I'm going to click create and here I'll click book bolt studio. All right, so we're just gonna go up the top here and I'm gonna hit new project. And this should come up, if you haven't created a project before, this should come up straight away. I wanna create a paperback because you can list it cheaper and the production of it from Amazon is cheaper. So I'm gonna leave that and then name my project mental journal, I'll just say mental health journal. And then here you can just select your size. 6.9 seems to be the average one that most people will do. But I can see that on the cover it says 8.5 by 11. I'm gonna go with 8.5 by 11 inches. Black and white interior with white paper. I'm gonna select a bleed. And here you can select your page count as well. I'm gonna go 120 and create project. Okay. So this will bring up your dashboard where you can work from. It's gonna show you this here. This is your front and back cover of your book. It also gives you all the dimensions for what your book is, where the barcode that Amazon's going to apply to your back cover, and then also just a guide on what all these other lines and things are. You can change the opacity or you can hide it if you like, if you're not a fan of it being there. I kind of like it just knowing where everything is when I lay it out. And then here you can see on the left hand side that we have all of our pages here as well. I'm just working on the cover at the moment. BookBolt is awesome because a lot of times you'll have to use different applications to create these things. I usually would use Canva for Etsy. Um, I have in the past for everything. You can import, if you like, you can upload different files and things to BookBolt that you've created. Maybe you've created other files for other things. You can upload them to your file library. But for now, I sort of want to create something different in here. So there's a bunch of different shapes and different things that you can add to the cover. There's text here that you can add as well. It's good just to make it your own and make it unique. Do whatever you would like. All right, so I've just created a cover in Canva. I kind of like it. I just did it really quickly, but I wanted something a bit more like minimalist to sell. It's usually my style, so I'm just going to go ahead and download that. I have done some tutorials on how to create these type of things in Canva. Again, I'll link them above and they're down in the description if you would like to watch them. But all of these elements and things, just because I've been using Canva forever, I just find it way like quicker for myself. If you want, you can literally create whatever you want in BookBolt. But for the purpose of this video, I'll make it a lot quicker just by uploading. So I'm just going to go ahead and upload. Okay, so I've just uploaded my cover there and I'm going to make sure that it covers everything to make sure that it's not white when I download it. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so as you can see, it's like overlapping a little bit. You wanna make sure that there's not gonna be any of the white or anything showing. So I like to extend it as far over 
as possible, but make sure that everything's still lined up. So here I want to make sure that's still in the middle. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. So there's the front cover of my journal. Really simple to make very quickly. Again, use all the elements here if you like. If you don't have a Canva account or you don't want to use Canva, this is an awesome tool to use. I'm just a Canva enthusiast. So then I'm going to go over to the left hand side. Now that my cover is done, I'm going to select page one. And this little button here is actually your templates. So this is my favorite feature of BookBolt because it makes things so much quicker. Usually I would have to create this myself in Canva, but here I don't have to. They already have all these different templates and different pages that you can actually just quickly put into your your journal. So if you want to do like a build tracker or something, they've got that available here, which is awesome. Even if you want to create like kids coloring books, you've, they've got that here as well, which is really cool. Um, a bunch of different like to-do lists and stuff. You don't have to create any of these, which is pretty awesome. It makes it a lot quicker. But for now, since I'm just doing a lined journal, I just want it to be like a daily journal. I'm just going to click this one and they have three different options for me. So they've got narrow, college and wide journal, which is so awesome. I'm going to go and select wide journal. And then here I get to select what pages I want and I just want a simple line journal. So I'm going to select all and then I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to select cover. So that's going to make sure that the cover isn't going to turn into a line paper. It's going to stay as what I've made it. But every other page will be turned to a lined piece, which is great. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to keep everything as it already is and I'm going to hit submit. All right, our journal is finished. That was so easy. You can see that all my pages are now lined. I like having the date and I like writing wherever I am in the world at that time on my journal. So I think this is really nice. I also like to doodle a little bit. There's a bit of space for that. So that's awesome. I think this is a good journal. I'm going to go ahead and download this. So to download my full project, I'm going to select download current project for printed books here. Okay, so that's given me two different files here. I can see there's my cover and then here is my lined pages because they need to be two separate files to upload them to Amazon. So now I'm gonna head over to Amazon. Okay, now that we've created our journal, we're gonna head over to KDP, uh, which is Kindle Publishing. And you'll need to create an account. You'll need to put in your banking details, all of that. Um, just follow the prompts. It's really simple. You'll need your banking details so you can actually get paid. And I think you'll also have to provide some tax information as well. But once you've created that, uh, you'll come to your Kindle publishing account. And this is where we can actually create and upload our journal to Amazon. So I'm going to go ahead and hit create here. The file that I created was a paperback. So we're going to go ahead and hit create paperback. And we're just going to work through these and BookBolt's going to help us fill in a few of the things. So it's going to be language, English, yes. Um, book title, this is where we're going to go back to BookBolt and we're going to be able to find the best title that will help people find our journal. I've just clicked products here. and We've gone back to this product page. Actually, you know what? So I'm just going to click cloud here and we're going to search the best sellers that I, I pointed this one out earlier. We're going to search the best sellers in journals. So you can see uh, here also has all these categories. So it also gives you like puzzle books, activity books. Remember we saw on BookBolt that you can create these really simply with the templates that they already have given you, which is so cool. Um, but we're going to go into journal and I'm going to type in mental health journal. There it is. And see who the best seller is for that. So the first one that comes up is self-care journal tear it cheat sheet interesting pretty good ratings selling about 475 a month so th this information here really can help you understand how many of each item you can be potentially selling so this one's obviously doing quite well probably selling the most it looks like it goes by the amount of sales um, and they're selling at about 599 this one's eight dollars mood tracking journal daily wellness that's sort of interesting for women and teens. So again, remember before we mentioned about niching down and putting in that it was for men or women. Um, this one's for women and teens, which I kind of like this one, one day at a time mood tracking journal. Um, unicorn sketchbook. Wow, this one has a lot of reviews. So to me, because this one has 
that could you could sort of see that as yes it's people are buying it a lot but also this one is very established and if you are going up against I mean one that's selling this good it might make it a bit more difficult but they're all very well priced I think mother and son journal so it's important just to go through here and sort of shop around for the type of keywords you want to use I sort of like this one's probably similar to us Another thing, good thing to look at is the descriptions that they use. So maybe they're doing something unique or adding certain words into their um, description that makes it easier for people to find them. This one has mood tracker journal all in caps in their description, which is sort of interesting. Stay on top of your mental health with this practical journal. I really like that at the top. That really helps. So this one's bestseller in menstruation, which is interesting. So that's a subcategory. I'll show you that in a little bit later, but maybe we can find ourselves in that niche there for menstruation. A lot of really helpful information coming out here. So I'm probably going to use this one sort of as a guide for what I want to offer. Even though my product is just, you know, a basic journal, if you're telling someone that this is what they should use it for, it kind of helps them just, even if it's not prompted, make the decision that this is the journal they're going to use it for. So I really like that one. Let's go, so it's called One Day at a Time. We'll go Mental Health Tracking Journal. I would leave that sort of as my title. And then I sort of want to get these all in here, Daily Wellness and we could say Mood Tracking maybe below it and sort of swap it around a little bit in the subtitle. Sometimes I think we can feel a bit weary about maybe copying or being too much like other sellers but if it's not broke you don't have to fix it so you can kind of just apply what's working for somebody else to your own listing all right so now that we've done that we're gonna head down it's not a series it's not an edition we're just gonna chuck my name in here and that's how it'll appear on your listing for the author I don't have any contributors. So then I also want to look at these guys listing as well. Stay on top of your mental health with this practical, practical journal, which I really like. And then we just want to write in the description sort of what it features and what it's good for. Like why would they stay on track? What's the benefit? What are they getting out of it? Writing a really good description is pretty key. I think maybe with these plain journals, the plain line journals, the visual aspect of it, the cover of it is what's going to speak to people most and what you're telling them it's for. So I always like listing the benefits of journaling or the benefits of whatever it is I'm selling. I usually do that for like anything that I sell online. So definitely t take your time writing out a really good description and make sure that you touch on the things that they actually need to know, like the size, which ours is 8.5 by 11 lined journal, 120 pages, paperback. You can get fancier with it, obviously, but make sure that every question that someone has about your product is there. You don't want people hesitating on buying something because they don't exactly know what it is. You're going to hit that. Make sure that you actually have rights to everything. You have to be careful if you're using Canva like I have and that you use free elements. The lines that I had put on the front cover of my journal, you have to make sure that they're free. So if you don't know what that is, definitely watch another video on it because you don't want to get caught up in something and get sued or something for using somebody else's content without being allowed to. So now we've come to keywords. And we're going to use a book bolt again for this to help us find the best keywords so people can find our listing. So I've just come back to book bolt. I'm going to hit keywords on the left hand side here. I'm going to go to search and we'll just put in our mental health journal again and see what comes up. Okay, this is all the information that comes up for keywords for us. This is what people are actually actively searching either on Google search volume or Amazon search volume. That's what that means at the top. And this is cost per click. So how much people are sort of paying. And this is the competition here on the side. So best journals for mental health has high competition, but anxiety journal for mental health has seemingly no competition and a thousand people searching for it a day. Black mental health journal, bullet journal for mental health. So we just wanna pick the ones that best suit us. 
because our title is Daily Wellness Mood Tracking Line Journal, Diary and Tracker for Women and Teens is our subtitle. So we want to make sure that our keywords do contain the title and the subtitle a little bit as well and that it all sort of ties together. All right, so I've just, I'm just grabbing, I've just put gratitude journal onto my keywords and I just need one more that I'm trying to find on here that will help anyone find what I am selling. All right, we've filled in our seven keywords that describe what our journal is, and then we're gonna head down to categories. So because I did find this interesting number one bestseller in menstruation, so that sort of means that like women and teens are sort of searching for this when it's their time of the month, even though it's sort of a strange thing to dial into, but we've sort of learned that that's how this guy, this person that's selling it is selling so many of them because they've ranked in this small subcategory that I did not even know existed. So let's see if we can find it. I really don't even know what category or how they found that. That's amazing. <laughs> let's see, health and fitness maybe. So one thing that I did learn about this is it, and this is why I think this is important that this guy has ranked in menstruation is that you if you rank in these smaller subcategories you're obviously you're going to get more sales because people are looking in this small subcategory and only your product is sort of coming up in it and the more you sell the more your product gets suggested on Amazon so that's why it's good taking time to figure out well it kind of applies to to this or maybe it could be used for this or people are looking for this journal at this time in their lives so really take the time to think maybe psychologically when people would want to use your journal or your product or your anything that you're creating i'm gonna go ahead and go just chuck it into women's health you know and you get to choose two subcategories just for the purpose of this, I'm just going to go, let's go witchcraft. <laughs> and we're going to tick low content book because it's a journal or a notebook and a planner. And it does not contain adult content. So we'll go save, continue. I'm going to leave that the same. And my Amazon date will be the date that will be used. I want black and white interior. And I'm going to change this to my 8.5 by 11. We need bleed because we downloaded a PDF and I'll keep my paperback cover finish matte. And this is where we are going to upload our manuscripts. All right, we're just going to upload our lined papers to the manuscript and it just takes a couple minutes for it to upload. And then we're going to upload our cover that we already have here. And then we're going to head down to the bottom and hit launch previewer so we can actually see what our book looks like once it's all put together. You really want to take a bit of time if you aren't just doing a line journal and you're wanting to add different things to different pages and things, make sure that each page is correct before um, pressing print or finalizing your book. It's a very important step. All right, so here is our preview of our journal. It looks pretty awesome. Uh, it, they've added the, where the barcode will be on here. I think it looks really good. And there's our lined pieces. And everything's within the box. This dotted line is where you want all your content to rest. And it looks pretty good, so I'm going to hit approve. Okay, so now down the bottom here it shows you the printing cost and how much it'll cost for Amazon to produce your journal. So it's $2.29 on Amazon US, so that's US dollars. And then it shows you the amount all down the bottom, what it'll be uh, cost you on each other platform. So that's what you need to keep in mind when you are pricing on the next part, how much it costs them to produce it and how much you think you should be making off each sale. So we'll give rights to all territories. I'm just gonna come straight down here and this shows you the rate that Amazon takes is 
and you get 40%. So if we price ours, we're looking at these other ones that we were kind of comparing ourselves to, and they do all seem to be between the six to eight dollar range. So if we could come in around the same price as this one that we're using as an example, at $7.99, it'll automatically show you exactly how much we will make off each sale. So $2.50 goes in my pocket every time that one of these sells, and down you can see all of the different countries here how much you will make which is pretty great for something that took us probably two minutes to create then I'm gonna head down the bottom here you can read the terms and conditions if you like or you can request proof and get a book sent to you before it goes live but I'm gonna go ahead I'm just gonna hit publish my paperback book and there we have it. We have created our first journal on KDP. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I'm trying to offer as much value on our channel as possible as far as making money online and getting to live anywhere that you like. If you are interested in trying BookBolt for yourself, I do have a discount code for you. It's Lloyd and Mandy and you get 20% off at checkout. So definitely use that discount code. We'll leave the link in the description. I love BookBolt, I'm gonna keep using it, and I will probably keep you guys updated as well on how it goes for me, how many sales I start making, what works for me. Maybe this can be something we can all build together. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.